All right, so right now we're going to be doing Purple Cow by Seth Godin. And this is one of another great book by the author, Seth Godin, that is. And in this book, he takes a different look at what marketing is and really how should it be performed within an organization or a small business or whatever. And his big point in this book is that your marketing should be a purple cow. And what that means is it should be remarkable, right? He gives an analogy in the book of driving down the highway and at first he sees a cow and it's remarkable, right? You don't see cows every day in the city. And to give an analogy to what that is in real life, that would be like the first toothpaste or the first uh, paperclip. It's cool the first time you see it. But as you drive down the highway and see more cows, brown cows, white cows, black cows, Eventually, you start to ignore them, just like today. If somebody makes a new paperclip, a new stapler, a new pencil, is largely ignored. But, he says, what if a purple cow appeared down the highway? That would be remarkable and take notice. So, given to what we need to do today, is we need to make our products remarkable. They can't be the same old, same old that they've been all the time. Uh, this is this is a fundamental change in how our product creation has to be. No longer will we be able to make generic products and have success by doing mass media per, uh, advertising. This is the old way of advertising and it's not going to work anymore. And if you look in real life, it doesn't really work anymore. Uh, the reason for this is... We can't make everybody products anymore. All the everybody products are taken. So we have to choose a niche and become remarkable within that niche. So later on in the book, he talks about how do you make a product remarkable? And really what it comes down to, it has to have some sort of, uh, for lack of a better word, remarkable feature. It has to be the most something. Could be the most uh, convenient. That's not a great one, but, or it could be the cheapest. Another one that you can have the most of, but it's not a great one because then you get a, you'd make it a commodity and whatever. But it should have some sort of unique selling proposition, but not just something simple, something that really when somebody gets it, they go, oh, that's cool. Or, oh, that's different. That's the key. You have to be different. In a later book, and a little bit in this book too, Seth Godin talks about how you can do this. And he also talk. it doesn't have to come down to, what I'm trying to say, it doesn't have to come down to research and development and creating a new brand new product that is crazy, new and awesome. Like, for example, the Segway or iPhone. Both are remarkable. It could be a soft, uh, I think he calls them soft innovations. For example, a cereal box who put toys inside the cereal box. That was remarkable when it first happened. Now, of course, these remarkable things, when they happen, the purple cow is a life cycle in the product's life. What that means is, he, Seth Godin suggests to make your product remarkable, make it different, make it so people will talk about it, and then later on in the life, you're going to want to, after going from the purple cow, you're going to want to transition to milking the cow. This is when you can get a little bit more generic or whatever. But that's only after you get the core base of fans so that you gain traction, gain market share, and then you milk it. And then you should make another purple cow and a whole new product. Let's see here. Let me look at my notes. Uh, he says you want to be different. He also talks about what sort of customer you should be targeting when you do your marketing. And uh, the Japanese have a word for this type of customer, or it's just really this type of person, and it's the otaku. And these are the people who are not obsessed with stuff, but they do it more than a hobby, right? These are the enthusiasts. These are the people who go fishing, not just every now and then, but they do it every weekend, and they talk about it all the time. But they're not obsessed with it, but they're a little obsessed with it. These are who you want to be targeting. These are uh, the fanatics. I don't know the word for it, but I hope I'm making... I know I'll understand the point later, so it's fine. 
Uh, the other type of person you should target is somebody who's highly profitable. Hmm, let me see here. And the last part is one more point on how to make a purple cow. And it's, in general, the best way to make a purple cow is to have passion around the niche that you're targeting. All right, so if you love basketball, you probably know the best way to make a basketball-related product. Because you love basketball, you know the ins and outs. But we don't know the ins and outs of every market. So what's the second best way? And the second best way is to have a high empathy level for your potential market. To see from their point of view and to see something in their eyes. I just repeated myself, but yeah. That's all I got for this book. Uh, if you also read this book, please leave a comment below for any points that you got or anything like that. It's just, it's just a great way to study these books. I mean, I don't know. Uh, cool.